All right, welcome back to the first video in our series of three in-depth looks at the 24-hour tech. Let's get over to our checklist. Now, you don't have to have a 20-step checklist like this in order to do dehumidifier calculations, but I'm going to use the 20-step checklist included with the 24-hour tech so you guys can get an idea of how this works. Let's go to the dehumidifier calculator. Here you go. This is a straightforward form, and uh, let's get right into it. Everything starts with your room notes and cubic footage. Room notes comes off of this, this page right here. As you can see on the top of this page, we got length, width, height, and cubic footage, and room name would go right here. But for this exercise, let's just put some words in there. Let's call this kitchen. And if this is a 10 by 10 kitchen with eight foot ceilings, that gives you an easy calculation, 800 cubic feet. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more rooms in here and estimate some cubic footage. This is gonna be a calculation for an easy four room water loss. Not 9,000 cubic feet, that'd be a big room, wouldn't it? All right, get your rooms and cubic footage in there. This form calculates it for you, but you're gonna do it by hand. You can see we've got a total cubic footage of our drying chamber of 2,700 cubic feet. Now, most people are gonna use an LGR, I would assume. Some people use desiccants as their primary drying machine, but most restoration guys out there are starting out with LGRs. You probably uh, Evolution or Revolutions, uh, Dryes uh, 2000, 7000 eyes. Let's look at the next box here. It says LGR class factor. Well, we've got a nice little cheat sheet. What is my class factor? If you remember back from your WRT class, Water comes in four different classifications. And for today, let's pick class two water loss. Say it came from below, soaked up the walls a little bit, got some wet floors. So we're gonna take that number 50, bring this back up in here. Now we're gonna bring up our calculation. You can see the form walks us through pretty well. We've got 3,700 divided by 50. What do we get there? Let's do that. That gets us 74. That means we need 74 pints or more removed every day. Well, what kind of machine's gonna get us there? Well, one evolution would almost get us there. One 2000 would definitely get us there. But let's play around with the idea that, hey, all we've got in the truck are two 2000s, or I'm sorry, two 1200s. Well, if I plug in here two 1200s, let's do the math again. 1200 is an LGR. Well, it's actually not even an LGR, it's just a refrigerant dehumidifier. At 65 pints per day times two machines, gets you 130 pints per day removed. my calculation all the way down to 130 and look at that the form says actual total which is right here should exceed the minimum which is gonna be right here we can actually bring this over here follow the arrows and that's it we've got a drying chamber that has been adequately dried how's that next step we're going to incorporate what if we use desiccants and LGRs at the same time. I'll show you that in a second. 